Shalom from Nesha on the slopes of Mount Carmel and, and the neighborhood and area that I live in with my young family. And I'm standing overlooking Haifa Bay and, uh, and the Mediterranean Sea and indeed further out is the area of the Krayot which is the suburban areas of Haifa. Yesterday afternoon at 4 p.m. as I came outside to collect the children from their kindergartens I heard large booms in the distance and I thought I really don't like the sound of that. Um, the next thing was my wife received a phone call straight away saying that there had been rockets fired from Lebanon towards Israel and needed to come and get the children now and well, of course I was on my way. When I got to the kindergartens I looked at the faces of the staff and they were full of terror. Their eyes were wide. They've experienced this before. I'm relatively new to this though. We've been living in the land for over 12 years. I immediately took Hannah and then went and got Yaakov. Both of the children were scared. Both of them were crying as were other children too at the kindergarten. And I realized that we were going to have and we were experiencing a taste of trauma. Nothing like the trauma of those who live in the south of the country, who live on the borders uh, with Gaza, where Hamas are constantly firing rockets, even in between wars. They make ceasefires and then a couple of weeks later they'll send a couple of rockets just to remind people that they are there. I was reading an article in a local newspaper here about a girl aged 10 who since the age of 6 has been receiving therapy because of the trauma she experiences from living on that border with Gaza which is run by the internationally recognized terrorist group Hamas. Yesterday we had just a tiny small taste of trauma. We got home, we, we, everybody was running to their homes and uh, we had to calm the children down. It took a while but they're fine now today and it's all quiet. Indeed there's talk of a ceasefire with Gaza from tomorrow. But people out there please understand that Israel is living with this threat all the time. It's in the back of our minds all the time. I guess that's why terrorists are called terrorists because they give terror to people. And uh, unless Hamas are removed from Gaza at some time in the future, this will continue. And it won't continue because of anything Israel does. It will continue because Hamas, as a militant Islamist organization, has a charter since 1988 sworn to the destruction of Israel. Spiritually, we continue to pray for the peace of Israel and our neighbors. And of course, God's word, God has gone on record in his word, declaring in Psalm 121, verse 4, in Hebrew, Hine lo yanum, velo yeshan, shomei Yisrael. He who watches over Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps. We thank God for the miracle that no one was hurt by those rockets from Lebanon yesterday, fired by Palestinian factions. And there's been miracles of, of uh, escapes of people uh, in the south who have been fired upon. Please do not underestimate the awful power of trauma in people's lives, both in the south and yesterday we had a taste of trauma. So Lord, I just pray for your peace anew and afresh over Israel. Lord, I pray for the people in Gaza, especially that 10-year-old girl who's been receiving therapy for four years. Lord, would you bring healing? Lord, would you comfort her and all who are going through trauma, both here in Israel and indeed in Gaza too? And Lord, would you cause the world around us to open their eyes to the realities that we live with on a daily basis. Lord, we ask this in the name, the special name of Yeshua, our Lord and Savior. God bless you from Nesham.